Hello everyone, and welcome to the NFLHouse.com. My name is Eric Galco, and I'm the owner and director of the site. I have Jamar Johnson joining me today. Jamar, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Well, thank you. Uh, for those of our listeners who don't know, uh, Jamar was a wide receiver for Jackson State. Uh, now, Jamar, you know you know some teams are going to hold it against you about the fact that you didn't play Division One single-A football and may have faced an easier competition. What do you say to those doubters? Um, well, I think a lot of this was um, upon teams down there. When I went to the off, I guess, I played against a lot of D1 single-A DBs, and I did the same thing to them that I did you know, to the, um, the DBs I faced here. So, I mean, with anyone who doubted, I mean, they can continue down. But when I get to a mini camp or wherever I end up at, you know, I'm pretty sure I'll just stop. Okay, now I know you've been a crucial team, a crucial part to your team's success, you know, playing wide receiver and also helping out on kick and punt returns. Um, you averaged 80.5 yards a game last season, including 199 yards versus Southern. So after all that, uh, what is your most memorable moment in your college career? The most memorable moment is winning the flag championship. I mean, just have my team and my coaches together. I went together all together uh, right at the end when we won, so we're going to pass out the flag championship or um, certain hats. Now, after the season, you were invited and participated in the NFL Combine. What was that like? Uh, how was the Combine like? Yes. Uh, the Combine, it, it was, it was a long, long experience. You know, it was long. But, I mean, I, I had a great time. You know, I got a chance to, um, to size up a lot of my competition going to the draft. Uh, I got a chance to see, you know, with those big names and, you know, what they had built to as big as they had with. And, you know, I got a chance to, you know, to meet with a lot of teams. Um, I liked a lot of teams, a lot of coaches, and also a lot of players. So, I mean, it was a great, a long experience. And how, how do you feel you did? Um, as far as um, the receiver drills, I, I, thought, I thought that did good. I could have did better. Um, I was disappointed in my 40 time because, um, because of the aggravated um, ankle injury. So, I wasn't actually able to run one fast. So, I'm capable of that. So, now, you mentioned before that uh, you talked to a couple teams and met with a few coaches and scouts or whatever. Um, do you hear any rumors about what teams like you or where you might end up at all? Um, I know the, um, the, the, the Eagles like me, the Bears like me, and also the Patriots. I mean, I, I bet with a whole, a whole lot of teams. I mean, everyone said they like me and everything like this. They said I have a lot of great intentions and things about that nature. But, you know, never know what may happen. You know, anything can happen in the draft, so I'm just, I, I can't do nothing sitting with Yeah. Now, as a football player, what do you feel is your best quality? Um, my best quality is uh, speed and explosion. Uh, my, my ability to read coverages on the move um, and also be effective in our uh, and where do you think you can improve on, either before the draft or post draft? Um, I can I can improve on sustaining my blocks longer. It's just, you know, just it's sustaining my blocks longer. I mean, I as a, as a player, you always want to sharpen up on every aspect of your game. You can't really say, well, some, everybody has their strong point, everybody has a weak point. So you got to focus more on the weak point as well than focus on your strong point as well. So you just got to work on your overall game. That's how, that's how I, I think. Yeah, th this year's wide receiver class is considered very deep by many, um, as there are many players with similar grades. Um, some players that I think are similar to you, you know, Deshaun Jackson from Cal, Donnie Avery from Houston, Eddie Royal from Virginia Tech, and Dexter Jackson from App Appalachian State. How do you think you compare with them in an NFL future type of way, and what do you think what do you think you could do better than them, or what do you think that they might be able to do better than you? Oh, I, I got a chance. Uh, so Eddie Royal, he was in my group. He, 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 so he's a great person as well. So I even like him during the season. You know, they had different people great right out of him, like no uh, different things. But I always like Eddie Royal's game, and I like the side. And you know, I guess I can take a chance to get out of him. But I think um, out of all of the receivers that I got a chance to see, you know, I, I think you know. What they had over me as far as, you know, they just went to the big school. I mean, that 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 take nothing from them. You know, they're the great players and everything. I just think they had they had, they had that big school name behind them. You know, I just have D1 double A, 
Yeah, I understand. Uh, just a few questions to end on. Who do you model? Who do you model your game after? Either in the NFL now or once before? Uh, I'd say, I'd say kind of like maybe Santana Moss, kind of. I'd say because you know his, you know his, his quickness, his size, and his ability to go deep no matter, you know, the size is his, his size. He can just go deep, he can just go up and get the ball, he can go up and get it, he can go out and get it. I mean, he can get it done with his size. So I kind of admire him, maybe since he was in the University of Miami. Yeah, and finally, what is the one thing that you want all the NFL draft scouts and GMs and coaches to know about you? I, could you repeat the question? Uh, what do you feel that you want all the NFL draft scouts, the GMs, the coaches, what do you want them to know about you? The number one thing. Number one thing is that no, no matter you know, if, if uh, an athlete goes to a Division three, Division two, Division one double A, All right, great, thanks. Hey, great, thanks for a lot. I uh, hope you hope the best for you and your future football goals, and best of luck. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. That was Jamar Johnson, wide receiver from Jackson State. Thank you very much for joining me today, and thank you for visiting www.thenflhouse.com. Thanks again.